up, get me hands. Y'all already know what time it is, man. It's your boy back at it again with another banger, you heard? So we're going to keep it simple in today's video, man. We're going to go ahead and drop the uh, transmission out of the 350C, and we're going to do the swap, man. We're going to get this done. It's over. So I wasn't planning on doing this. Matter of fact, I had the transmission for sale, as y'all going to hear me say this probably later on in the video. Either way, I said it again. But which I changed my mind, man. I woke up today on Demon Time, so we're gonna go ahead and get the transmission drop. We got, we got the new one, and we got a few little things that we gotta get to that we need to complete the swap. But in the meantime, we're gonna do what we can. We're gonna make this content. We're gonna go ahead and drop the transmission, get everything out of there that don't need to be there. You heard me? And then we're gonna get this done, y'all. So, so it's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna jack the card up, put it on some bricks, put it on whatever we need. And we're gonna go ahead and get the transmission out. So I know we gotta take out the dry shaft. I know we gotta do a few little things. And then we're gonna start talking about what we need for the swap and what we already have. So let's get right into it, y'all. All right, so we gotta take this brace right here, which is the one that holds uh, the transmission uh, suffering <laughs> for the transmission and, uh, and a whole bunch of other little stuff. We're gonna take that real quick, y'all. All right, fellas, so quick little update. Uh, I ended up having to take out the the pipes right after the uh, catalytic converter because uh, we was having trouble getting to the uh, to the open transmission bowl. So that is the reason why we ended up having to take that. But uh, so far, we're almost done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the reason why I'm not in there is because clearly we got the compressor on and all of that good stuff. But, man, uh, it's been a pain in the ass. Uh, trying to get most of the stuff out of there, but at the same time, it has been pretty easy. It's just the open balls are painting the ass, truthfully. But let me go ahead and show you what I got going on right now and what we've done so far. So, so far, we took the brace, we took that um, disjoint as well. I forgot the name right now. Uh, dry shaft is literally out. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure you can see. Let me see if I can show you what I got going on. So, so far. We got most of that stuff uh, out of there. Uh, we just got to take out the open bolts and take out the other uh, one more bolt for this uh, exhaust piece right here. And we should be good to go. So transmission is literally out. After we do that, uh, I don't know if we're gonna, probably going to do it in the next video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a wire thuck all around the engine. We're going to clean the engine up and do all the good stuff. I was thinking about um, doing the real main seal while the transmission is out. Hey, go down in the comments below if I should do the real main seal on this bad boy. Uh, Jesus, I look like shit, but it is what it is. We're working. I'm pretty dirty. I'm all over the place. The reason I'm taking the transmission out is because uh, I am selling the uh, uh, torque converter to somebody coming to pick it up. On top of that, I made a decision today to say fuck it and then just go do the uh, manual swap on this car. Uh, we do not have everything we need for the four, but we have the transmission, we got the clutch. All we need is the pedal. Uh, we need the slave and master cylinder, all that good little stuff, and we should be good to go for that. So, and uh, yeah, we're gonna need another drive shaft. I'm not sure, I, I believe we cannot run the automatic uh, drive shaft. If I'm tripping or not, go in the comments and let me know as well. So hopefully once uh, I get everything out of the way, we're going to see if we need to redo the rear main seal on the car. And we'll go from there. So let me go to take everything out. I will show you, but y'all seen this videos 30 million times on YouTube. So we're not even going to go there. So if you want a detailed video on this, go down in the comments below and let me know. And just like that, that bad boy's out. Excuse the mess. I always got a mess in here. It feels like I can't clean for shit. But, um, yes. Whoo! Um, clearly, y'all saying it's been an eternity later. <sighs> I ain't tired, y'all. It's been a good five, six hours since I started. 
and uh i did took a break but we finally got it out we do got a mess of trans fluid in there but it is what it is now we got to worry about finding uh we already got a clutch back there now we got to get the uh what's his name Whew. okay so now we got to get a manual uh flywheel we do got the clutch back there like i just said um whew, excuse me y'all but i've been at this for too long i can see i'm tired my eyes is red i'm ready to go but uh transmission is out as y'all seen already uh we do gotta get um flywheel uh clutch pedal um uh slave cylinder master cylinder all of that good stuff and obviously we got to get some lines for it so i'll probably get on the use of braided ones that way i don't have i can run it with whichever way i want to so that's probably what we're gonna do next so we're gonna leave this video right here